Hello, welcome to my program on performance management. My name is Bob Sashadri, and today we'll talk about the benefits of a correct performance management process. Most managers do not take part in performance management in the genuine sense, as many of them don't understand the benefits. As they equate performance management to appraisals, that often gives rise to confrontations. It's hardly a surprise that managers skip the process or place it as a last priority. Performance management can be valuable, provided you understand what it can do to your team and your organization in the long run. Let's look at the benefits. Time and effort. Performance management can reduce the amount of supervision by explaining why and what the employees need to do when you delegate a task. This exercise can be made sure each employee's work contributes to their team goals. It also allows you to identify problems pretty early while they occur so that you can fix them immediately. They reduce, therefore, the time or the need uh, for any kind of disciplinary action. Commit to the full process and you will see a significant improvement in productivity and you will recoup your investment on time and effort. Besides being one implement for improving productivity, performance management also protects you when you fire an employee or have to make other hard decisions about employees. Performance management involves documenting problems and communicating them to the employees. Thus, when an employee files a complaint, your documentation shows your decisions were based on performance issues and that the employee was made aware of the same. Solid performance management documentation can even get frivolous lawsuits and complaints out of the way. You also save time. The benefit also there is to when you keep your goals in sight. Focusing on your goals and helping everyone succeed will benefit you in terms of improved performance. So do all the steps. And what are they? Work appraisals alone do not improve performance. You notice the results only when you go through the following steps. Plan performance. Increase the frequency of communication. Communicate and discuss results every quarter. Diagnose problems as and when they arrive and do not procrastinate. Review performance quarterly. But there's just one word of caution. Be patient about results. You'll see some quick benefits as soon as you focus on performance management. Performance planning by itself should help you reduce wasted effort and the need to supervise your staff. However, the full benefits will not be obvious unless you have been through the integrated 12 month cycle more than once. Bye for now. Catch you later.